Hello friends, thank you for joining me here on Classic at Frugal. Today I'm going to give you a really short video on how I make meat sauce for Never. spaghetti. I am going to be making mine in the instant pot, but you could do this in the on the stove top as well. That would be just fine. I used to do it always on the stove top, but now that I've got it in the instant pot, it makes it way faster. So I will go just over exactly what I've done and how I'm gonna finish it up because I'm about halfway. So this morning I knew I had a little bit more time so I prepped everything up in advance. I chopped up some onions and sauteed them till they're really translucent with oil and I also got some other veggies. Now this is my veggie loaded meat sauce as I like to call it. I've got some celery here, some chopped up carrot, and minced garlic, but I also really, really like to add peppers of any color chopped up, um, sometimes other veggies too, if I have them, but these ones I'm going to saute in with the meat, and then at the very end I'm also going to add a fair amount of really chopped up spinach, the more the better. And if it's chopped up pretty small, you don't really notice it in the spaghetti sauce, like in the tomato sauce. And I know I can eat a whole lot more spinach like this than I can in a salad. And also my one and a half year old really likes it. So it's a great way to get some spinach in. Um, I'm trying to think of some other veggies I've used, but peppers. I don't have peppers today, but usually I would add a pepper. And then some kind of ground meat I'm also gonna use. And this is, um, ground chicken that I'm using today, but I've used ground pork in the past, ground beef, whatever works, whatever you've got around. One of our favorite ways to have it is half pork, half beef. It's got a bit less fat and, um, you know, it got the flavor of the beef, but half pork makes it way cheaper. And then the last ingredient that I'm going to mention is tomatoes. I'm using some diced tomatoes that I had in the freezer here. I had a big can and opened it and froze it in section so diced tomatoes crushed tomatoes tomato sauce tomato paste honestly I use a mix of whatever is available or whatever I've got in the cupboard till I get the consistency that I like you don't need to use all of these kind of different tomatoes I'm just showing you whatever you've got so I think today I'm gonna try maybe these three as a combo and just see how it turns out but like I said I'll just see as it goes along and then I'm going to be using some spices and a little bit of um, sugar will go in as well so in the instant pot I've sauteed up the onions now I'm going to heat it up again I've actually got it on less I like to saute onions on the less setting Like I said, you can do this on the stove top. I would just do this kind of on medium low. And I'm gonna, oops, sorry, I can't see very well. I'm gonna saute all of this up. And then I'm also gonna throw in my meat now and saute that. Okay, so it's a few minutes later and my meat is all ground up and I've added my spices. If you have Italian seasoning, this is really, really great for Italian seasoning. I don't, and actually I'm running out of some spices in my house, so this isn't gonna be quite as much as usual. But I'm added paprika, salt and pepper, and oregano. I would also add basil and parsley usually, but I actually have run out, I see. So we're just gonna go like that for now. Stir it up. And then I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of white sugar oh, that was a bit generous but that's not too much and give it a good stir so this is the sauce with all the ingredients mixed in and you can kind of just see the texture now I also added a little bit of water so I'm going to cook this I think because it's already bubbling, I'm just going to put it on for eight minutes. Give me a second. Get the lid. 
on high pressure manual and I'm going to put it on for 8 minutes. Um, sometimes I do it for 10 minutes if all the ingredients are cold, but everything's already hot, so I'll do 8 minutes. If you're doing it on the stove top, I would simmer for like an hour and a half to two hours on low, medium, low. Just on the back of the stove, it really brings out the flavor. I love making meat sauce in the instant pot because it's so much quicker and it really makes a great flavor. While I'm doing this, I'm going to cook up some spaghetti and supper will be ready.